Okay, Google. Turn off the alarm. Okay, Google, turn on the light. Sure, turning on the lamp. If there's one thing that this blog or this vlog is going to find out about me, it's that I hate mornings. I hate them. <laughs> But, gotta do it. Let's get this day started. See, this is one of those days where I procrastinated from getting up, and now I'm late. See, it's really weak. And typically, well, I'd be working anyways, but it's really weak, so things are a little bit different. I don't have class later tonight, I've only got work till 3.30, but I should have gotten up earlier. I don't think so. You're not going to see any of that. Super excited to use it and put it to use. I've already packed it. I thought about doing a uh, a video where I sort of like pack it on the video, but um, it just made more sense to try to pack it beforehand and uh, kind of I'll take out basically what's in here and put it on the table because it's a lot. Um, primarily what's in here right now is just basically for when I'm going to school. Um, this isn't like a camera bag at the moment. Uh, it's basically a camera vlog and school bag. Um, primarily I wanted it for school, but the secondary is definitely for, for everyday camera bag. Um, I have way too many bags, some that are functional, some that are functional for some things and not functional for other things. And I found that the Peak Design was obviously probably one of the better choices. Um, if you go read reviews online, it's probably one of the highest reviews as a camera bag um, and an everyday bag. And that's kind of like why they call it the Peak Design Everyday Backpack, because it's designed for everyday life. It's not even just photographers, it's everybody. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. Um, I took out two the dividers. Um, these are kind of a cool unique design as well. Um, so when they go in the bag they sit like this obviously like a typical divider but then they have a unique feature where they actually um, fold and kind of create like another compartment. So on the inside and I'll show you on the one divider that I left in there the type of uh, extra storage that it kind of gives you and kind of benefits. This is kind of a unique design, the peak design. Uh, yeah, super smart. Alright so let's take those off the table. Now let's start with the outside. Um, so on the outside in my previous bag, which I had a Herschel um, Little America bag, and it kind of just was a throw wall. It had one compartment, you throw everything into it, and then it had the sleeve for the laptop. And unfortunately, when you have my water bottle, my headphones, uh, laptop, 
camera and my binders, it just kind of like, it was an accident waiting to happen. And uh, I didn't want that accident to happen. So this bed kind of uh, hopefully prevents that accident from happening. So let's start from the outside. Um, I've got my water bottle that I'm just going to take, take with me. Um, double lined, uh, basically uh, water bottle full bottle full bottle of wine if you think about that, full bottle of wine. Uh, other side pocket, I have my uh, Joby Gorilla tripod for vlogging and just portable tripod. Uh, so I'll put that down here. I actually put a bottle down as well. Uh, on the outside of the bag, um, so yeah, we have the outside compartments which hold water bottle and the tripod. Um, and then typically if I don't have the tripod with me, this is where I would attach my keys, but I should put them somewhere else in the bag. Uh, yeah. Uh, outside, you've got like three amazingly strong handles uh, with leather on the outside. The one here, one at the top, one at the side, and uh, yeah. So that's that. Straps, very comfortable, very stiff um, for now. But they'll once I've broken in, they'll start to loosen up. Um, one of the cool designs is they have this like basically pin pivot here. So basically, it adjusts for your shoulders. Um, it actually makes it easier to sling the bag when you go to open it up. Uh, so that's that. Uh, on the front, they have their patented design of a latch system, which basically allows you to carry a lot more. You can adjust it to depending on what you have in your bag. Um, I tried to get it onto the third one here, but it's just, you know, I don't want to force it. So it'll go on to the second one, uh, and it magnetically attaches, but it also has the, the full release. So yeah, it does have a magnetic attachment. Uh, on the outside here, I also have my uh, tile uh, support um, because this is an expensive bag and I don't want to lose it. Uh, so tile support is very handy. Uh, I have one on my side keys, which I'll show you as well. Um, this one's water resistant, has a little bit larger of a distance in terms of detecting uh, where it is uh, with the phone. And of course, it's a crowdsource finding um, application, which is awesome. So yeah, so if we go into the bag, let's start at the top. Uh, cool design that they have right here. So they have the Peak Design logo at the top. Uh, but yeah, let's go inside. So like I said, this is going to be for school. So I have my binder. I have, um, what else do I have in here? I've got my notepad, which I take my notes on right there. Uh, headphones, Sony uh, wireless. Uh, noise cancelling headphones. These are amazing for riding the bus or any type of transit walking. So there's that. Uh, also up here I have my um, uh, Olympus Mu 2 35mm camera. Um, I always keep one, you know, a 35mm camera with me just for, you know, quick snapshots, uh, interesting things. Um, and then I also have my, uh, basically my pencil case. Which is kind of a unique thing. It's a Tenda uh, toolkit um, bag, but I converted it into to hold my pencils, my markers, my highlighters. And on the other side, I have um, a whole lot load of other stuff. So I've got like a backup battery, a charger for my laptop, a calculator, calculator, uh, USB stick, charging cable, cloth. Yeah, and it holds a little bit more in there as well. So I have that. Uh, so let's put that there. Uh, and that's basically the top compartment, and that's that's everything that's in there. And then there's actually a little sneaky, sneaky little pocket right there. Uh, and in here, I have my wallet. So, wallet right there. Um, I would typically put it in there, but, um, you know, you can store other things in there. So it can be, like, maybe money or passport when you're traveling. Um, that sort of thing can go in there. And it's got a nice little magnetic lock, so you can sort of just easily lock it closed. Uh, and that's it for the top compartment. Uh, and as you can see, there's lots of space. So even if I wasn't carrying my camp, my school stuff, I could fit like a pair of shoes. I could fit uh, maybe a change of clothes up in there. And then obviously with the other dividers, I can put way more camera equipment. And obviously once all that stuff is gone, you can actually latch it all the way closed to make the bag a lot smaller. Uh, if we start on the, uh, this would be the left side if I'm wearing the bag. Um, full, full zippers, which are weather sealed uh, zip linings, which are really nice. Um, quick little feature of the zipper pull. Um, they actually have these anti-theft um, zippers. So actually what you do is you pull it apart through here 
and then it loops in through a little piece of the back of the bag, and then it locks in, just like that, and then you can't access the bag quickly, at least. Um, and then the same thing at the bottom, the bottom, the bottom zipper as well does the exact same thing. So let's go into the side compartment here. So in here, um, I have my 50 mil 1.8 Nikon. I've got my, um, I forget who makes this, uh, Gold Pole. Um, this is basically a glorified egg timer, um, but basically this is how I do my time lapses um, that rotate. Um, honestly, pretty cool, pretty inexpensive. Um, connects to my dro uh, drill pod and uh, my camera mount for my phone. So yeah, a little accessory like that, super cheap, super easy to fit into your bag. Um, the kind of cool feature is that you can actually just see right to the other side, which is nice. Um, nice Velcro on the inside. Um, foldable divider, like I said, so the divider now divides that so you can put your lens in and it will be rubbing up against your lens. Then you pull the divider and then pull out my camera, which is a Nikon D750 and I have a lens attached as well. So really super convenient and really super easy to, to actually load your equipment in um, and basically you can compartmentalize it. So you can just fold that back over and then basically you have your divider like that. Now, one thing that you can typically see is that this is like a standard, you know, sling over your shoulder. It is a backpack, but you can sling it over your shoulder and access your gear. Like this isn't the first time this has been done, but one of the other features that I think is overlooked in some cases is the fact that there's actually an inner pocket on the actual pull down uh, panel. So when you unzip this, you actually have little, basically, little pockets in here, uh, which hold various things. So in here, uh, I have a big one that I haven't put anything in here. Uh, I did have my Moment wide lens in there uh, and my microphone, which is now attached to the phone, obviously. Um, but basically in the one of the cards I have my extra battery for my Nikon um, and then nothing else but I, have, I can put other things in here, um, little accessories and actually I'll demonstrate whatever else I have which is on the other side. So I'll zip this back out. Super easy to zip as well. So I'll come on the other side and same thing, pops open and then unzips very easily. And on the inside here, I have uh, my mouse for my laptop, actually, Chromebook. Uh, I have an extra pair of headphones just in case my Bluetooth ones die on me. Um, but those are just for an emergency, so I just keep those in there just as a backup. Um, I have a little multi-tool, uh, very cheap from um, Canadian Tire. I have a little flashlight from Google, uh, looks like a water bottle. Um, you know, not very bright, but you know, kind of cool. It's got a black light, which is kind of interesting. Not sure what I'd use that for. Uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, a little cleaning cloth, and that's about it. So that's you know, sort of really cool. And whereas those accessories used to be kind of loose in a pocket on the on the personal bag, now they're not so loose. Uh, and then you're all probably wondering where my laptop is, where my Chromebook is. Sorry, uh, it's actually at the top here. So there's actually an extra little. Uh, pocket right up here, so you just unzip it like that, and simply the Chromebook just slides right out. Um, and yeah, you can fit a 15 inch MacBook in here, um, a 13 inch, um, you know, regular notebook. Um, I know some 15 inch laptops that won't fit unless it's sort of like a, a slim version, something with like an SSD drive or um, regular PCs are just they're too thick, so they won't fit. Um, and I also put my keys up here. There's actually a little compartment which is sort of like nicely lined with like this plush material. So it's uh, very good for like, uh, let's say, um, glasses, like sunglasses. Um, that would be perfect for that. And I just keep my keys in here and I have my tile uh, attached to them because I lose my keys quite often. Um, now, one of the cool features that they do include with the bag, uh, Pete Design did include, which is their. Um, latch system. So basically it's this kind of unique system from Peak Design. It's kind of what got them started, but it is a super simple attachment and basically your keys attach like that and you can easily just throw them right in there. And that's it. And that's, you know, super simple. You won't lose them. Um, yeah. So that's, that's the Peak Design backpack, very simply put. Um, probably going to put it to use next week. 
uh, for my placement for school. But yeah, that's the Peak Design Backpack. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, oh yeah. This brand right here, Maru, the Circle brand, is a brand out of Ottawa. Um, the dude makes wood stuff. Uh, his name is Andrew. I can't really pronounce his last name, but I'll leave a description and a link in the. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Um, but he makes awesome like wood products, like paddles and uh, coffee grinders. Um, what else? Uh, but primarily, like one of the things that I know him for is leather goods. Um, so he actually made um, a couple camera straps that I have uh, for my Nikon film cameras. Um, and my girlfriend just got me this nice key holder uh, from him as well. Um, and I'm actually getting a new camera strap uh, from him, uh, from my girlfriend, for my new camera. So I'm just waiting on that, but honestly, uh, his products are really well made. They're local here in Ottawa. Um, go check them out. Honestly, probably one of the coolest dudes. Very quick at uh, getting back to you and very quick at uh, sending his products out. Um, he even sends you like an update, updated photo of the, of, the, of the product that he's working on. So like, let's say, so for example, like he made the strap, he would have taken a picture of it. I sent you a photo saying, hey, it just went out today or it'll be out tomorrow, you know, if it's on the weekend or whatever. Um, so he's very, like, communicated, which is awesome. You don't get that a lot from a lot of different brands. Um, but super quick, uh, super functional, and really well built uh, products. Um, yeah, and that's kind of it for today. Um, this is kind of where we'll probably do most of my sit-down reviews of anything. Uh, yeah, that's it. See you.